Um, and that's why in the shack, God doesn't come to Mackenzie in a masculine form yeah. because the damage is so deep. And, uh, and yet he still needs to deal with God in father kinds of language, which happens really near the end of the book, right? And which a lot of people don't So that was a deliberate choice. Oh, totally that. deliberate. Totally deliberate yeah. because I don't want to lose the father imagery, yeah. right? It, it's not a statement of God being male or female because I don't believe, and that's orthodox theology. God is neither male nor female. And 100% of maleness, 100% of femaleness is derived from the nature and character of God. That's traditional forever orthodox theology. Um, imagery is to help us understand elements of the character and nature of God. And fathering, that father uh, imagery is incredibly important. So is the, there's plenty of feminine imagery that kind of gets masked over or hidden inside Western male-oriented traditions. But, um, but the fathering is important. And, um, and you know, the, the way I've been able to capture it in a phrase for me is that it, it took me 50 years to wipe the face of my father completely off the face of God.